Welcome to Pop Up Camper Pro. Today we're going to build some bed support poles. Coleman and Fleetwood Pop Ups use two styles of bed support brackets. They use a pivot style. This is just a swing pivot on this style of bed pole. And they use a slide style. The pivot style is most commonly on smaller units, Pioneer, Americana, and such. The slide style are commonly found on larger units. So a problem with this slide bracket, and anybody that's had one of these has probably experienced this, that the slide action can stop and get tight as these channels get bent from use. We're gonna show you what we did to try to stop this problem from occurring in the new styles. For the brackets, there's two different lengths, a 6.5 inch length bracket and a 7.5 inch length bracket. Here we have the 6.5 and it's a bit more common of the two. And we can see that the normal size pins, when the brackets start to get a little bent, to become difficult to slide. What we did is we slightly changed the size of the pin and moved to stainless steel hardware. So even on a bent bracket, the slide action is fine. With less resistance occurring in each of the slide brackets, we find that these channels are less likely to get warped as well. Let's go ahead and put one together. We'll move our example a little bit out of the way. And we'll start with the pedal latch into the bracket. Use our short pin. I installed a, a push nut on the one end. Put the through holes. And hammer on a push nut on the other side. Easy way to do these guys is just set it on the table. Line the pin up. Then hammer from the top. That got it. You can also use a small socket as a driver. Works well also. All right, now it's time to install the pole. Now many of the poles uh, have a 45 degree cut in them. The proper orientation is this cup cut is facing up when the bracket is on its back. So we'll put that inside the channel. And we have our smaller stainless steel pin. Already have a push nut installed. So order of installation is bushing, flat washer. Then we feed it into the bracket, metal spacer. Then it goes through the pole. Another metal spacer on the inside back through the bracket, flat washer, bushing, and push nut. This one, we'll just try not to hit our fingers. And I got it. Nice and smooth. Now, since this channel bracket is already wore out, let's go ahead and replace this. So we have a new kit, and it comes with a smaller pin and push nut. To take these push nuts off, claw hammer works just fine. Let's get underneath of it, hold the top, give it a little tug, Try it again, because that didn't work. Man, I got the stubborn one. I'm holding my hand over the top because I usually like to go flying. Hit the other end of this, let it fly. 
Try it again. And third time's the charm. And take four. Oh my god. Boy, that did not want to come out of there. This next one's on there pretty tight. We can get under it a little bit. Not with the cat's paw. Or not with that camera either. Okay, so we use a five in one and just gain a little bit more purchase underneath of it. Kind of worry, worry one side of it up a little bit so we get a leverage tool underneath of it to pop this cap. There it went. Move that pin and save the bracket. We destroyed this one. Okay, let's put the new channel together. Old bracket goes in the new channel. Short original pin. Put it back in. Power nut on the opposite side. Push nut, rather. Make sure she's lined up. Got Fed pole, 45 degree cut is facing up in this orientation. New pin, and we'll use the old hardware. So bushing, flat washer, goes into the channel, metal bushing, through the leg, metal bushing, through the channel, flat washer, bushing, and push nut. And for this one, we'll use a socket using a 732nd socket as a driver. Hold him on the street. Send it home. and fixed.